Western Institute of Technology, Solapur. Now I am here to explain the features and pin diagram of microprocessor 8085 and 8086. At the end of this session, the student will be able to understand the features and pin diagram of microprocessor 8085 and 8086. So these are the contents, features of 8586, pin diagram of 85 and 86. We will see one by one. So let us have a glance on features of 8085. It is an 8 bit microprocessor. It operates at plus 5 volt power supply. And the operating frequency is 3 megahertz. So which indicates that the time taken to complete one cycle is uh, 1 by 3 megahertz that is equal to 0.33 mic microsecond. It has 16 address lines A0 to A50 and data lines D0 to D7. Next, as address lines are 16 bit, uh, it can access 64 kilobytes that is 2 raised to 16, 6, 5, 5, 3, 6 bytes of memory. In the hex, it starts from 4 times 0 to 4 times H. It provides 8 bit input and output address so that it can address 256 IO devices. It supports 74 operations and 256 instructions. Arithmetic and logic unit which performs addition, subtraction and logical operations such as AND, OR, XOR, complement and shift operations. Next feature, it has 8 bit general purpose registers such as B, C, D, E, H and L and 16 bit registers SP, PC, stack pointer, program counter and 8 bit accumulator, 8 bit flag register and instruction registers. Next it provides uh, 5 hardware interrupts such as track, RST 5.5, RST 6.5, RST 7.4 and INTR. It has serial input output control for serial communication and interrupt control to handle the interrupts. It provides control signals and it has an ability to share its system bus with direct memory access DM. It has two status signals S0 and S1. So these are all about features of 8085. Next we will see the features of 8086. It has an instruction queue which is capable of storing 6 instruction bytes from memory resulting in faster processing. It has 20 address lines and 16 data lines. It was the first 16 bit processor having 16 bit arithmetic and logic unit, 16 bit registers, internal data bus and 16 bit external data bus resulting in faster processing. It is available in three different versions depending on its operating frequency 5 MHz, 8 MHz, 10 MHz. It uses two stages of pipelining fetch stage and execute stage which improves the performance of pipeline. Fetch stage can prefetch up to 6 bytes of instructions and stores them in the queue. Execute stage executes these instructions one by one. 86 is having 256 uh, vectored interrupts and 86 
consists 29,000 transistors. So these are the features of 8086. Now think on this question and write the answer. Differentiate 8085 and 8086 microprocessor. Pause the video. I hope you have written the answer. So the differences between 85 and 86 are like this. In terms of size, in the sense that 85 is a 8-bit microprocessor, whereas 86 is a 16-bit microprocessor. 85 operates on 8-bit data, 86 operates on 16-bit data. Regarding address bus, 85 is having 16-bit address bus while 86 is having 20 address lines. Uh, coming to memory power, 85 can access up to 64 kilobytes whereas 86 can access up to 1 MB of memory. Coming to instruction, 85 doesn't have an instruction queue whereas 86 is having an uh, instruction queue which supports for 6 bytes. Coming to pipelining point, uh, 85 doesn't support a pipeline architecture while 86 supports a pipeline architecture regarding input output uh, access 85 can access 256 io devices whereas 86 can access 65536 io devices coming to cost the cost of 85 is low whereas that of 86 is high Coming to next uh, a diagram, a pin diagram of 8085. So 85 is having 40 pin IC. So these pins are divided into different parts. Uh, these are low order address bits, time multiplexed with data bytes, high order address bits, and a few more uh, pins. We'll uh, go one by one detail. So this notch is kept because to identify pin number 1. With respect to this notch, left side topmost pin is pin number 1. So description of pins, address bus and data bus. Now in this diagram, you will see the address bus and data. So address bus AD0 to AD7, then next A2. A15. So AD0 stands address and data. So these are multiplexed. And this can be distinguished with the help of the pin called ALE address latch enable. This pin is 1, then these AD pins behave as an address. If it is 0, then it acts as a 0. Sorry, a, a data. Control and status signals ALE, IO, M bar, S0, S1, RD bar, right bar, ready. Next, power supply and clock frequency VCC, VSS, VCC plus 5 volt, VSS ground reference, X1 and X2 are used uh, as a crystal to connect uh, a to get a, a frequency. Clock out, this signal can be used as a system clock for other devices. Interrupts and peripheral initiated signals. So the interrupt, different interrupts are INTR, RST 7.5, 6.5, 5.5, TRAM. Uh, these are the different interrupts. And with respect to uh, uh, the INTR interrupt, so there is acknowledgement called INTA which indicates interrupt acknowledgement. Reset signals are used such as reset in and reset out. So reset in and which is actual low uh, which is going to 
reset the microprocessor. Reset out is going to reset the connected devices. DMA stands direct memory access signals and here uh, hold and hold acknowledgement. These are the uh, risk concerned respective pin names. So hold is going to indicate that the external device is requesting the service of address and data and HLDA is the acknowledgement of this hold. Serial input port and output port SID and SOD. So these are taking important role in case of serial communication. So this is the pin diagram of 8086. This is a 20 pin IC. So we'll see uh, all these uh, one by one. So it is having power supply and frequency signals. Uh, it uses 5 volt uh, uh, power supply and 5 megahertz, 8 megahertz, 10 megahertz. These are the frequencies at which it can operate. It is having address bus, data bus, address status bus. So here in the diagram, we can see the ad address and data bus AD02 here AD14 then 15 up to AD15 then A16 to A19 total 20 address lines and data lines D0 to D15 total 16 data lines this is about address and data lines next BHE and S7 this pin BHE stands for bus high enable which is used to transfer data using the uh, data lines D8 to D15 and the other pins are ready uh, read, reset in, INTR, NMI, test, maximum mode, minimum mode. So these are all concerned with a minimum mode pins, hold, hold acknowledgement, write bar, DT bar, M, ALE, INTA bar, etc and th these are concerned to maximum with respect to this hold from hold to INTA pin all these S0, S7, S1, S2, QS0, QS1, RQ etc. These are the references. Thank you.